G'day, I'm Bernie Craven from Aussie Hair Guru and I'm here today with Kathy from Rickson Salon in Brisbane. How are you today? Thanks, Bernie. So thanks for uh, being part of it and chatting to us about um, you know, the shortcuts uh, software that you're using. Um, how long have you had it uh, in the salon? We've had it nearly since we opened, so for 11 years. And so why, uh, why get a computer system in the salon? We just wanted to make it more efficient um, and have effective marketing tools to use in the salon. So going from a book to the computer was one way to do it for us. So it makes your everyday life a lot easier? Absolutely. So what are the uh, main daily functions you'd use uh, with the Shortcut system? Um, we use point of sale and histories for our clients, for our colour clients, yeah. and also a lot of um, notes and things that we put there for our stylists and colourists. Yeah. Um, and all, you know, obviously with the point of sale retail transactions as well. Yeah. Okay. So what about the uh, like reports and things like that? Do you, do you utilise those? So we use the reporting daily, um, often a few times a day as well. Yeah. Just to keep track of what's going on in the salon. So um, how did you find, I mean, pre this you were using a paper um, a pad to appointment book, weren't you? Yeah. So um, what, what's the difference? I mean, I think for us it's having everything at a touch of a button. It means that we can track everything that we do, appointments that are made, um, and future appointments as well. For example, with the shortcut system, we can click a button, it shows us two, four, six or eight weeks forward for us to book clients in, so that's been a big difference for us. How did you in integrate the operating system into the salon? I mean, was it, was it difficult? I mean, do you find resistance with all of the staff? <laughs> the or? old school hairdressers. Yeah. Um, we were really lucky in the fact we had a young team that were all computerised at school. They picked it up really quickly actually. It wasn't, wasn't hard at all. But what about Brad? He can use it quite easily. and We're lucky we have iPads and things like that as well. So we have a mobile system too, which um, makes it easy. Obviously he's really busy in the salon, nine times out of 10. So he doesn't get to do a lot in the salon. It's more at home, he can look at the reports and things like that as well. So what happens uh, when you have computer problems? Because we all know that it happens every now and again. Yeah, look it does. Um, we just call shortcuts and generally it's fixed within five minutes. To be honest, we haven't had to call them much at all, so. So you would do a backup, what, every night, would you? Absolutely, every night. Yeah. And uh, you'd, you'd take your backup out, wouldn't you? We do. Um, I actually, I'm responsible for that. Yep. So we do it and I take it home every day. What's the best thing about being computerised in the salon? I think it's having everything at a touch of a button. Um, like I said previously, we can track everything. Um, and not having to go through a, a, an appointment book to try and find things. Uh, so what's the worst thing? I don't think there is a worst thing. I, I think it's been the best thing we've done for the salon. Um, I guess if it was unreliable, that would be a problem, but it's really not. It's very reliable, so we've been, um, we've, we've been really happy with it. So really you'd say if you're not computerised, you better get that way, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Yeah, you're crazy if you're not computerised. It just it helps us a daily, like the, the amount of time we spend on um, doing client histories and things like that. There's no double ups anymore. Yeah. Let's have a look at some of the um, parts of the program that, that you do use in the salon and we can have a look at it in a little bit more depth and um, to see what you do and how you do it. Yeah, sure. So Kathy, you're responsible for the stock control in the salon, so uh, what are the procedures involved in, uh, in that? Just maintaining good um, retail levels and processing and receiving stock. Okay. So uh, how often would you, uh, would you order? Well, we have three different retail lines, so we do an order every two weeks for each, so we're ordering at least once a week. Okay. How do you receive the stock into, your, into the system? It's pretty simple. All we need to do is check off the stock from our invoice to the stock audit, uh, make sure it matches. If it doesn't, we just um, record any discrepancies and sort that out. So the other staff members that, um, that do that job as well, or is it just you? I'm the main person that receives it, but if, obviously if I'm, I'm busy, then yeah, there are other staff members that know how to do it. Yeah. It is really easy to do. So, um, and we, we do have a barcode system, so normally our stock's pretty pretty up to date, so it's pretty easy for them to receive it. So how do you manage your professional stock in the system? We actually have a stock bin where we put all our professional and tester stock, um, any tags or anything that we can into that bin, mm -hmm. and then we just write that down and um, put it through the computer. Yeah, so what, what you'd have a, what, a bin or a box or something in your back room, and every time what a tube's been finished or whatever, the box and the tube put in there? Is that yeah, right? just the box. So every yeah. time a box is opened, the tag gets ripped off yeah. into the bin, and then we can just record that. Yeah, so that's a great way to, um, to make sure that you, 
you're not missing anything, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And also to know what, what colours we are using. Then you just like manually sort of go and put them into the system, is that right? We do. Um, so what procedures do you put into place uh, to manage that when you're not here? Well, we, are, we do have a really good system in place where um, I have Angie and Sharon who also know how to control the stock. Yeah. And because the levels are kept and maintained, it's, it's pretty seamless. So how often would you um, like stock take um, in the salon? Is it like monthly or, or sooner than that? Every time we do an order, we check the levels and we change them if need be. So for example, if a test has been taken off the shelf, we'll, we'll fix that in, in the computer system. Um, but our main stock, stock take is done twice a year. So one at the end of the year and one at the end of business. Okay. Any tips for stress-free um, stock management? Barcoding. I think it's really important to have barcodes on all your retail stock. So is that difficult to do, the barcoding? Just when you're receiving the stock, it, it actually asks you if you'd like to, to barcode. So the manual part of it's simple and to set, a, set it up at the system is really basic. How long would you spend on stock control on a daily basis? Probably less than five minutes. Okay, so it sounds like the shortcut system is really something that every salon should have just to make their life easier and also to really keep good control of um, all their stock usage, yeah? Absolutely. So there's another innovation you use in the salon, which is iPads, and I'm really interested to see what you do with that. We can use it for stock, client history, CPCs, um, client information, booking your next appointment, absolutely everything. What was the decision behind getting the iPads in? Well, we like to keep up the technology, number one, um, but also to be mo have a mobile uh, shortcuts has been great. And it's just much more efficient when the front shortcut system is being congested. We, um, we can offer that to our clients and there's no time for them to wait at all. So what, what sort of business tasks would you um, use them for mainly? We can do everything, but mainly for us it's booking the client's next appointment. So they can do it in the comfort of sitting in their chair rather than at the desk when they're about to leave. And most clients are in a hurry by the time they're ready to leave. It's really good to, to do it within the time frame that they're here. There is an old saying, once you take the cape off the client, they're already mentally gone from the salon, so it's great to be able to um, you know, do all the things you need to do um, in the chair. Absolutely, and I think that's, that's one big thing for us is we get a huge percentage of rebookings because we do it with them sitting down next to them. Um, we're not trying to rush it at the end of the service. Now, that's, that's, uh, I think that's a really big point to make that... Um, that you know your clients are rebooking because you're actually putting it in front of them and you're actually doing it rather than waiting you know because everyone's trying to get out the door in a hurry absolutely and you know it's you can say it to your clients as many times as you like but nine times out of ten by the time you get to the front desk you've forgotten or they're in a hurry so if you can do it in front of them visually it's a really good good thing to have you use it for your, your stock control so you've got like this mobile device you can walk around when you're counting stock or whatever yeah it's a fantastic way to use it um, it just saves pen and paper and uh, and also for updating your client information you can use a, um, the iPad to you know update a, as a mobile thing to update a client's history well, right when you're doing it can't you absolutely and you can forget the histories by the end of the day you can forget which colors you've used exactly so it's a great way to do it right there and then how does it um, do your clients get to use the iPads does it improve their experience as well yeah yeah they love it um, they love the fact that we were up with technology when we first got them it was exciting because a lot of our clients didn't have iPads um, a lot of them do their banking and they'll read magazines or newspapers on it as well. Oh, that's, that's, that's a great thing. It's just another thing to bring the clients in the door, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, when we're doing consultations, instead of flicking through magazines for colours and cuts, we use the, the iPad for that too. One of the things that I think is fantastic is that Brad, who's the um, co-owner of Ricks and Hair, he can actually take the iPad home with him and he can like look at staff rosters or he can look at, you know, the stock or everything while he's at home, check reports. Yeah, I think Brad really likes that because during the day he's just too busy to look at a lot of those things so he can do it while he's having a glass of wine on the couch and just have a look at everything on the iPad. It sounds like the way that I'd like to do it as well. <laughs> I think he enjoys it. <laughs> um, so really, I mean, having this you know, mobile you know, shortcuts option is, is a fantastic thing, isn't it? I mean, um, it's just this really great add-on that um, just, just makes life for the salon owner so much easier. Yeah, it's really important having something mobile and efficient and I think it just adds to an extra benefit of having shortcuts. I think anyone who doesn't have an iPad in their cell now is crazy. Yeah, pretty much. 
So that's iPads. They are a fantastic tool to have in the salon. Uh, when you've got shortcuts mobile on them, it means you can basically take them anywhere and still have all of the things um, that you need to run your salon uh, with you. So um, get onto the shortcuts website and um, you know, have a look at their programs because uh, I think this is one of the best things out there.